welcome guys so this is question 4.11 and 4.12 today we are going to talk about them as the two questions are closely relevant so therefore let me first talk about question 4.11 and then 4.12 and both of them are related to the mathematical expectation of the continuous random variables okay so let us first talk about question 4.11 and the density function of coded measurements of the pitch diameter of threads of a fitting is fx equal to 4 by pi 1 by x square for the x ranges from 0 to 1 and 0 elsewhere and we have to find the expected value of x okay uh, so in solving it we have previously seen the formula for the mathematical expectation as we can see that this is a continuous random variable so that's why the formula for it would be the expected value of x would be what we have to integrate it okay integrating it by multiplying the value of the ranges with the value of the density function and then we will get the output okay so that is what that is the formula we will be using here you can see that instead of using the discrete operator we have been using here the continuous operator and that is the integration okay so let me first put values here and putting values here we can very easily see here that the values here would be x multiplied by f, f, f of x which is 4 divided by pi 1 plus x square okay d of x and the ranges of it are from 0 to 1 okay so this is what this is the equation we have now let me first remove the constant values from the inside and put them outside so it will be 4 by pi and here we will have x divided by 1 plus x square and it would be 0 to 1 dx okay or we can also write it like 2 by pi and here we will have 0 to 1 2x divided by 1 plus x square dx okay why did i write it like this one because i have known the formula for the integration that if we have a fractional function in such a way that in the numerator we have the in derivative of the function which is in the denominator okay and that is here so in finding out its integration we can find out the natural log of f of x okay so here we will get this one so now uh, using the same formula we can see here that this is 1 plus x square and its derivative is here which is 2x so therefore we can employ this one here as well so it will become 2 pi and natural log of what the function here is 1 plus x square okay and the limits here are 0 to 1 okay so let me put values here and putting these limits here what i will get here it will become natural log of 1 plus 1 and this would be natural log of 2 minus uh, natural log of 1 plus 0 is 1 okay so we will get this one this is what we have from here we can very easily see that here natural log of 1 is basically 0 okay so therefore we will get here sorry here we will get 2 natural log of 2 divided by pi and similarly this 2 this can be the power of this 2 as well so it will be 2 2 square divided by pi which is ultimately natural log of 4 divided by pi and that is what that is the solution of question 4.11 okay so that is what that is the solution of 4.11 in which we have employed the use of this formula for the continuous mathematical expectations okay so i hope you have understood all the steps which i have carried out okay so let me remove it now question 4.12 if a dealer's profit in units of five thousand dollar on a new automobile can be looked upon as a random variable x having the density function which is given here okay so find the average profit per automobile okay so in units we know the formula so therefore what do we have to do we have to find the expected value of this random variable and then we have to multiply per unit profit over it okay so let me find the expected value of this random variable and it would be what employing the same formula here 
and employing it what i will get putting the limits which are 0 to 1 x and then the value of the function which is what which is 2 1 minus x okay and then dx this is what we have let me multiply these terms inside so what will i get here it will become 0 1 and here we will get 2x 1 minus x dx okay or 0 1 multiplying this one inside of it i will get 2x minus 2x square okay and this would be d of x okay so now uh, integrating all these terms here what i will get here i will get 0 1 2x dx minus 0 to 1 2x square d of x okay so now here we will get 2 multiplied by x square divided by 2 from the limit 0 to 1 and minus 2 x cube divided by 3 from 0 to 1 okay so uh, let me move down somehow okay so these two will cancel out and from here i will get 1 similarly here it will be 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 and x cube putting values here i will get this one and from it very easily we can see that the answer will be 1 by 3 okay so this is what this is the average value of the automobiles now we knew from the statement that the unit profit is five thousand dollars so therefore in order to find the average profit what do we have to do we have to find average profit here to find the average profit i have to multiply this five thousand with one by three okay so it will become 16 67.67 somehow and that is what this is in usd and this is the solution of our problem okay so that is what that is the solution of our problem in which we have first found out the expected value and then multiplying it with the unit profit we have got our answer okay so that is what that is the solution of two relevant problems uh, that which are related to the mathematical expectations of the continuous function if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon